Plastered on walls across Paris were posters that became the emblems of the May 1968 uprising. Images and slogans that inspired students and workers as they protested against the government and turned the city into a battleground. The prints were created in the city's top art school. Fifty years on, one of the artists behind them remembers. We had the folly of youth, the dream of revolution, but at the same time, none of the 68ers wanted power. Same with the unions, they just wanted better pay and conditions. We wanted France to change, to modernize, to get rid of the old way of thinking. Gérard Fromanger was among those who occupied the school. Day and night, they created striking graphic works. Une petite affiche comme ça. One small poster like this had more impact than a major advertising campaign across France. The exhibition's popular with visitors. The curator says it is an indication that many of the issues of then still resonate today. You can see that uh, the support for migrant workers started in 1968. The uh, women's rights issue, the uh, homosexual rights issues were very prevalent or became very relevant during the period. For many people, May 68 was a real cultural revolution. Young people really wanted to break away from the French conservative establishment. There was a real sense of liberation and excitement in the air. And that inspired artists not just then, but it continues to do so today. This new mural by graffiti artist Esquif echoes some of the uprising's most famous slogans. For artist Jean-Jacques Lebel, May 68 was a unique moment, and he continues to create art that denounces violence and oppression. We know that art has to say no to all forms of oppression, including torture, including prisoners, including the slave trade. That's what our art is about. Continuing the May 68 uprising in artistic form. The anniversary is being marked with exhibitions across France. The protests didn't succeed in immediately bringing down the government of President Charles de Gaulle, but they ushered in a new era of hope and creativity at a time when many people were thirsty for change. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.